guys, so this just arrived in the mail today, and it's FT Island's new Japanese full-length album, Planet Bombs. And I figured I'll go ahead and do a traditional unboxing, um, since I have not opened this package up yet. And so I purchased this on Amazon Japan, and I know I've reviewed them um, before. I think the first time I reviewed them was for FT Island's Japanese album release from last year. But I just wanted to, I suppose, uh, reiterate why I really like to purchase my new Japanese albums from Amazon Japan. Um, and that's mostly because they get here really fast. So this album was released April 11th um, in Japan, and it's and today's date is April 12th um, here in the U.S. So I basically get Amazon Prime shipping um, overseas through their global shipping services um, because they use DHL, and it's actually pretty economical too, um, especially if you buy more than one item. Um, I've made really large hauls with Amazon Japan, which I'll go through um, during my end of the month haul uh, for this month, where each item was about $4 in shipping on average um, because of how they structure their shipping fees. And so if you get really good deals, especially during their pre-order period, uh, where they have pretty deep discounts on new releases. Um, you could oftentimes get get these for as much or even lower than um, releases on CD Japan or even Yes Asia. So that's why I really like pre-ordering from them. And they also don't charge your credit card until they actually ship the item out. So if you want to cancel um, anytime before then, um, it's really easy to do that oh. on Amazon Japan. Um, but let's see how they packaged everything. And so these boxes are really easy to open. Um, they have this little pull tab that you can uh, take out. And then you just open it this way. And they don't use any bubble wrap, but they do use really sturdy cardboard. Um, and then saran wrap all the items in here so they don't move around. And oftentimes, um, all my orders um, come to me undamaged. There are a few times that Amazon Japan didn't use the setup and I just stuck a jewel case in a bubble mailer. So I, I, I've, so I have received cracked CDs from Amazon Japan, but they do have a really nice customer service where you can um, contact them and ask for either a replacement or a reimbursement um, a lot of the times. So I ended up just um, buying their limited edition version A. So this is a CD DVD edition with a large photo book in um, a nicer package compared to jewel cases that you get for most Japanese releases. And the reason why I only ordered one as opposed to all of them um, is because you could usually get um, version B in the regular edition uh, for much cheaper um, used on proxy sites because a lot of times for Japanese albums they all come with application codes so when these things are released a lot of fans tend to buy in bulk um, to get all these codes and then they resell uh, photo cards and um, the actual albums for much cheaper. So I do plan on getting the other editions that way. And the other editions didn't come with any different tracks. Um, just for FT Island, they only have special bonus tracks on their singles, it looks like, um, nowadays. And so I figured I would just buy this one for now and also eventually get the fan club version uh, through a proxy site. To remove the plastic. It has a nice resealable bag here. So this is the front spine and then the back with all the contents. So there's 10 songs in total um, including one instrumental interlude track um, and then in the DVD has a uh, music video for Hold the Moon, as well as the making for that. So inside that, you get three things. So let's start off with the discs. So um, with the discs, um, you have this digipack package, and you have the CD up in front, and then the DVD. And then this is the lyrics booklet. So I don't think there's 
many pictures in here, and this is also where you get your photo cards. So looks like I pulled Simeon. See him here. And this is the back of the photo card. Bank code. And again we have the track list here and then all the lyrics to their songs. And then lastly, here we have the photo book, um, which isn't terribly thick, but it does have um, some nice pictures. So let's go through it. Here's a group shot with Honky um, in the crease there. And I really love this concept. Um, it's a lot different than what they did for United Shadows. Um, and it's a bit more folksy and it's a different direction than um, what they were or have been exploring in Japan for quite some time, I feel like. And I love the teaser pictures that they had with these like moons that they were holding. And here we have Honky with round hair. And Jin as youthful as ever. That's really precious. <laughs> Sing -hyun. Lastly, we have Min Hyun. So now I want to really talk about the track list here. So when I first heard the highlight medley for uh, this album, um, I will admit that I was a bit hesitant. Um, and I was a little concerned that this may be the FT Island album that I wouldn't love every single track, um, which just seemed a little sacrilegious to me <laughs> because really FT Island's music has not disappointed me for in the past few years. Um, their albums are always the highlight for me um, each year and especially their Japanese album because that's where they usually have more freedom um, to explore harder rock which um, is a genre that really appeals to me but the highlight medley I feel like really did not do justice for any of these songs um, I noticed that too with uh, United Shadows and NWU um, Hearing those teasers uh, for the songs, um, just, I feel like they don't really do a good job at giving you a taste of what the songs actually sound like. But I feel like whoever's in charge of doing the highlight medleys should really do a better job. Especially if um, they want new fans to approach FG Island's music um, and be kind of more interested um, in this type of sound that they do offer um, in the industry. So in short, the highlight medley was not very good, um, but the, the whole entire track list um, was not disappointing at all, um, in my opinion. So I'll talk about these songs individually. So we start off with Hold the Moon, which was the title and had the music video. And so this is a much more calm and almost kind of folksy pop um, sound that we really haven't heard FT Island do, especially in Japan, for quite some time. So it was sort of refreshing um, to watch the music video and see that they were trying something new, um, which is always nice to see um, groups do. And I think I read in an interview that Hongi wrote the song intending for it to be a solo rather than an FG Island song. So I could see how that this is more of maybe a Hongi song rather than an FG Island song. But I'm glad that it did end up being an FG Island song. It's a nice kind of soothing track. Um, that allowed them to kind of explore, as I mentioned earlier, um, a different side to them. And next we have Stay What You Are. And so this is a song that they released on their previous single, Paradise. And so um, if you're not familiar with the format of FG Island's Japanese albums that they've been doing recently, they always include the lead single um, from their previous release Japanese single, 
um, so in this case Paradise, and then you also include one out of the two B-sides um, from that single album. And so in this case they added Stay What You Are. So this is a really nice song if you haven't heard it before. Um, I did an unboxing of Paradise um, on my channel before and said um, my thoughts concerning it. I won't talk too much about this here. But the next two tracks I think are maybe the highlight for me. So these are both Jay Jin um, tracks that he wrote and composed. And um, and if you've seen my videos before, I've mentioned that Jay Jin songs tend to be my absolute favorites um, on albums. And um, the trend continues here. Um, so these are both very much harder rock than the rest of the album. But in Dancing On, there's a lot of cool instrumentals that are going on and layers to the song that I really that really appealed to me. And this is a track where you hear quite a bit of Jay Jin singing. Um, so I really like it when both him and Honky uh, tackle uh, FT Island tracks because the contrast in their voices I think really works well. And it's kind of interesting how this track kind of progresses um, where there's some really hard hitting parts and then it kind of morphs into something a bit more um, trance-like almost. Um, so it's a really cool track. I think it might be my favorite out of all these songs. Um, but Game is also another favorite. You hear much more guitar in this, and there's a bit of a funky twist, which um, I was really digging. And it'd be kind of cool to see F. Child do more things like Game and Dancing On. Sort of a harder rock with a funky edge. Um, I think that is something that really suits them, and it'd be really cool if they would explore that more. And then track five is Paradise, which I mentioned earlier was the single they released last summer. And it's a really nice kind of uplifting song, if you haven't watched that music video. It's not my favorite FT Island single, but it's really enjoyable. There's not an FT Island single that they've released, um, especially in Japan, that I dislike. So, um, well worth listening to. And then track six is a very short instrumental track, and so this kind of um, divides the album. Um, which was interesting for them to incorporate, I think, this time. So, in a way, I feel like it was just placed on there so that they would have 10 tracks instead of 9. But um, I, I guess I'll forgive them <laughs> for doing that. Because the next four songs are a bit slower paced and uplifting um, and, just, and just a different feel than uh, what the first half of the album sounds like. And so we start off with Golden. Um, which I haven't been mentioning the f members favorite songs that they've indicated, but this was Hongi's favorite song um, That he mentioned in an interview If I remember correctly, I think Jay Jen's favorite song was Hold the Moon Game was Sing Hyun's favorite song Min Wan liked Skyway and then Jong Hoon liked Flower Road but Golden um, is Kind of the more uplifting, almost Disney-esque <laughs> song that I've ever heard after Alan do. But there's some nice uh, harmonies in the song and I really like the build up um, to the chorus and it just kind of seems like one of those uh, songs you would see in some sort of adventure film where someone's on a journey and, and trying to reach some goal that they have. I could see why Hongi would like it too because um, there's some really great parts where he just belts out Golden. And then for Skyway, this starts off a lot calmer, I think, than most of the other tracks. But it also has a nice build-up, sort of like Golden, where it just seems like a very uplifting song. And then on to Sayonara. I think, aside from Dancing On and Game, this is my next favorite song. In this track, um, you also hear some contrast between Jay Jin's vocals with Hongi's vocals, and I just really like the instrumental. It's a very calm song um, with some more, again, uplifting sort of elements incorporated in subtly. And I think I just really liked how dynamic it was, um, especially after listening to Golden and Skyway, which were much more sort of epic in their uplifting um, kind of feel. Sinara was much more calm, um, but still incorporated 
some really interesting dynamics um, with their vocals and instrumentals. And then they end the album with Flower Road, and I can't help but think of Minwon whenever I listen to the song, um, especially with him getting married. Um, but it's a very nice, sweet way, I think, to end the album. And here they also incorporate more than just Jay Jin and Hongi's vocals, but Minwon's as well. It's nice, again, calm, but uplifting sort of track. And I didn't really mention about lyric or composition credits for any of these. Um, if you follow FT Island, you know that they do participate pretty heavily in their music, especially in Japan and their more recent Korean releases. But Hongi, I think, had the most participation uh, with uh, Hold the Moon, and then he wrote the lyrics for Stay Where You Are, um, as well as Paradise, uh, Golden, and Sayonara. Jae Jin, as I mentioned earlier, worked on Game um, and Dancing On. And then Minwon also worked on a song. Uh, he worked on Skyway, uh, both the lyrics and composition. And then the last song, Flower Road, was by Jong Hoon. So it's a little sad that Sing Hyun um, wasn't able to put his song on here. The members have mentioned how Sing Hyun has been working really hard on his own songs. Um, it's just that they're never included because they're slightly different than what the new album's direction was going in. So I'm really hoping that we get to hear this song sometime soon, um, either on their next Korean album or their next Japanese release. But that was it for this unboxing, as well as just a short little chat about the songs. But if you guys have listened to this album, um, do let me know what your favorite songs are or your thoughts on Planet Bonds as a whole. Um, down below. Um, I'm really hoping that we get to hear a Korean album from them sometime soon. I imagine they'll be up next, unless FNC is finally going to let AOA uh, have a comeback, but we shall see.